Here is the objective for this lesson. Here is a problem. An ice cream shop uses ten bananas to make six identical sundaes. How many bananas are used in each sundae? Use a tape diagram to show your work. Things that I know are that there are ten bananas for six sundaes. So I'll go ahead and write that out. So those ten bananas are split amongst six Sundays. Using a tape diagram, the tape diagram represents the whole, and it represents the ten bananas. And I know that I'm splitting up those ten bananas amongst six Sundays, so I will divide this fraction bar into six parts. And what I am looking for and trying to figure out is how many bananas are within each Sunday. Six of those units, one, two, three, four, five, six, do equal ten. And then so one unit is equal to 10 divided by 6. I know that 10 divided by 6 is the same as 10 over 6, which is equal to 1 and 4, 6, which I can reduce and simplify by dividing by 2 in the numerator and denominator to 1 and 2 thirds. So there are 1 and 2 thirds bananas within each Sunday. Each of those units is one and two thirds for each of those Sundays. In a complete sentence, that would be each Sunday gets one and two thirds bananas. Here's another problem. A school receives 23 packs of pencils. The pencils are split equally between the three fifth grade teachers. How many packs of pencils does each teacher receive? Again, after we read the problem, we can draw a bar diagram. We can also write out a focus answer. Each teacher receives blank packs of pencils. What we're dividing here is the 23 packs of pencils. So our whole and our bottom model is 23. And we're thinking about splitting this equally between the three fifth grade teachers. So we have three units that make up the whole. Three units that make up 23. One unit then is 23 divided by, right, three. If we use the standard algorithm approach to be able to solve this here, 3 goes into 23 7 whole times, and that remainder would be 2. If we could divide that 2, we would divide it by 3. That's why 23 divided by 3 is 7 and 2 thirds. So, one unit of this is 7 and 2 thirds packs of pencils. Now, if we did our check for this, That would be 3 times 7 and 2 thirds, which as repeated addition is 7 and 2 thirds plus 7 and 2 thirds plus 7 and 2 thirds. 7 plus 7 plus 7 is 21. And then we have 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds, which would be 6 thirds, which is also equal to 2. And 21 plus 2 is 23. So it does check. Each teacher would receive seven and two-thirds packs of pencils. Lily has eight one-liter bottles of sparkling apple cider. 
She divides it equally among ten people. How much apple cider does each person receive? To write out a focused answer, each person receives blank liters of apple cider. So we're expressing our answer clearly. Drawing our bar model is the whole 10 or 8. What are we dividing here? We're dividing the 8 1 liter bottles of sparkling apple cider. So 8 times 1 does equal 8. Now if our bottles were larger, then we'd have to do something besides using 1. So for instance, if they were 2 liter bottles, then we would have 8 times 2 equals 16 liters. In this case, since they're only 1 liter bottles, we do end up having 8 liters of soda that we are dividing. We're dividing them amongst 10 people. So we're taking this here, and so we're trying to figure out how much each person receives. So we have 10 units equaling the 8 liters. So if we divide both sides by 10, we have 1 unit equaling 8 divided by 10. We have 8 ones divided by 10, which is 8 tenths, which we write as 0 0.8. Now we also could have seen 8 divided by 10 as 8 over 10. So each person receives 0 0.8 liters. Now if we run our check on that, we have 8 tenths times 10, which is 80 tenths, which does equal 8, and that original 8 liters. So each person receives 0 0.8 liters of apple cider. Here we have problem. We have Steve having 4 weeks to save up for a video game. The video game costs $55. How much does he need to save each week? So we write it out. Steve needs to save, and that would be blank dollars each week. And put a dollar sign right there just to remind ourselves. So the game costs $55. And this is making the assumption that he saves the same amount each week. That's why we can go ahead and divide the whole up into four units. So four units equals $55. And we're trying to figure out how much each of those units is then. So one unit is equal to $55 divided by 4. Pause the video and work that out. What do you get for dollars and cents? Did you work this out properly? So we had $13 at least, except we still have that remainder of three. So it's 13 and three-fourths of a dollar. 13 and three-fourths is what each of those units is. Expressing that within dollars and cents, three-quarters of a dollar is 75 cents. So 13 and three-fourths is 13.75. Now I could have added zeros, dropping zeros here to be able to get the rest of my answer. And that's possibly what it is that you did as you were solving this problem. That also is a valid approach when you're dealing with dollars and cents. So he needs to save $13.75 each week to be able to save up $55 for this video game. Now if we ran our check on that, just to make sure, 0 to 28 plus 2 is 30, 0 to regroup a 3, 
4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, 5 regroup a 1, and 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Placing our decimal point correctly, yep, if he saved $13.75 each week for 4 weeks, he would have $55 saved up. One of the big keys is to not only read the problem correctly, express your answer clearly, but use that bar model. Set it up so that you know what it is that you're dividing, and then work out your problem, and do not forget to check your work thinking about whether or not that your answer is reasonable.